Are you looking for a way to unlock a new income stream? Creating and selling printables like this or like this is a great option. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to use ChatGPT and Canva to create amazing and unique designs that you could sell on platforms like Etsy and make extra income. But first, let's look at the steps we'll be covering in this video. The first step would be for us to look at the business model and understand what that is. And then I'll be showing you how to generate ideas in ChatGPT. And also we're doing idea validation on Etsy platform alongside a research tool called eRank. And then we'll be doing the designs of the printables in Canva. And I'll be showing you how to make mockups for your listings. And finally, I'll be showing you how to upload and publish your listings on Etsy. Plus as a bonus, I'll be giving away a free template at the end of this video. So be sure to stick around. Let's get started. All right, before we start explaining what the business model is, it's important to first understand what is printable. So printables are basically digital document or files that you could print on a paper and they come in various, several forms like Microsoft Word, PDFs. It could come in, you know, picture files such as JPEG and PNG which you could offer to your customers and anytime you offer those files to your customers, they could print it out themselves. So now we understand what printables are. Let's quickly look into what the business model is. So the first stage of the business model is to generate idea for your digital printable products. And once you generate your ideas, you need to research and validate those ideas. And this particular stage is a very key stage because you don't want to put in all the effort in creating a product that doesn't sell. And once you are done validating your product or your idea, the next stage is to create the printable that basically sells. And you're going to put it in a format people are looking for, which you're going to find out from the previous step when you are doing your research. And once you're done creating your printables, the next thing is to list it on Etsy or any platform of your choice, basically. And when your customers make a purchase, they get an instant download. And people ask how they get an instant download. I'll be showing that in the tutorial. And the final stage will be to repeat basically the process. So repeat what works to keep making that money. So now we understand clearly how the business model works. So let's dive right into using ChatGPT to generate our ideas and definitely validate those ideas using Etsy and eRank. Okay, so once we get into ChatGPT, it's to ask it to give us basically ideas of what to sell in terms of printables on Etsy. And it's going to give us a breakdown and then we would narrow down the ones we want to search on. So now he has given us a list. So if you're not okay with this list, you could go further to ask it to add, you know, 10 more or 20 more so you get the ones you're looking for. So now that we have an idea of the one we want to go for, we want to go for planner pages. So let's ask it to give us um, potential niches and um, target audience for printable planners because we're looking for printable, right? So we type this in, give it a bit of a space and enter. From this, we will be looking further into um, busy professionals and we'll be creating printables around daily, weekly and monthly um, planning, goal setting and habit tracking. But let's ask it because this can be grouped into what we call productivity planners. So let's ask it what could be the content of this planner. This, is, this would help us understand when we are doing our research. So we could say to ChatGPT, give us content of productivity planner and let's see what it's going to give us. So what we'll have within our planner. So, okay, so it's saying Brazilian can include sections for daily, weekly, monthly tax list so this uh, to do the to do lists which we have here okay so we have a bit of an idea okay of what we are looking for this is our target audience people who are busy and want to manage their time effectively so that's why we are looking at productivity planner we'll be moving over to etsy to start doing the um, in-depth research and validating this idea that we have but before we go in depth into understanding if this idea we have is actually valid or not, we need to consider a couple of things. The first thing we need to come to consider is demand. So we're looking at demand to see if the average um, search per month is high. We also need to understand if the average click-through rate of that product is good. 
and then we'll be looking at competition so when we're looking at competition we're looking at whether it's a low competitive um niche where we're looking at or mid or high competitive niche then finally we'll be looking at product analysis so what is product analysis so the product analysis we'll be looking at things like product reviews how are people reviewing the product do people like it what are people saying note what people like and what people don't like then you note the style how there's been presented how many number of pages each of those print tables have these three categories is what we'll be looking at the first two categories demand and competition we'll be using e-rank to do that research while for the product analysis we'll be using the ET platform specifically for that okay so first off let's answer the two key questions demand and competition so we come to e-rank at the very top here you can see choose tools and keyword explorer to start you know narrowing down which um keywords or if the niche is even a niche you want to pursue so a technique i want to show you or a trick i want to show is when you're typing something on etsy for instance let's type um printable planners or digital planners you would see that the competition would be extremely high when you type this in so let's look at this so you see that the average search per month is about 99,000, which is good the click-through rate is 109 percent but you could see that the competition is about 418,000. this is a lot if you have to compete in this niche but the way to narrow it down is remember when we're getting ideas from chat gpt told us within our productivity planner we could have things like weekly planner hourly planner and the like so what you could do is to use those keywords to see if those keywords have low competition because within a productivity planner you have hourly planner so so let's type in hourly planner to see if that works for us so we could say hourly planner okay and say search okay so you're seeing a different phase so basically you could see that this is 1500 search it's not so much but something and the click-through rate is good is over a hundred percent the competition is basically low and if you look at this trend chart you could see that it went down to 2022 december and is gradually picking up February data hasn't been updated yet. You could go in and change this into weekly, monthly and see what it gives you as the result. So now we have covered demand and we have covered competition. Let's now quickly go into Etsy and look at the product analysis for each of um, the hourly planner and the productivity planner. So once we get to Etsy at the very top, let's just type in productivity planner and put printable to see what it's going to give us give us so we could start doing our in-depth product analysis so we say productivity planner printable okay so it gave us this page so let's look at one that we will dive right in okay so now let's look at this all right so you click into this and it opens up first of all just by looking at this um particular productivity planner you could see that this is already telling us it's a bestseller so to tell you that this is already selling and remember when we were talking about what we're looking out for in productivity um, in product analysis we're looking at what colors they have what are the um, sizes what how do they display it in terms of their mock-up and what are their reviews so let's quickly look straight into the reviews then we will go into the pictures so when you come to reviews reviews for this item let's look for the most recent review that kind of tells you what exactly you it's going on with this product so it says excellent quality match description meet my expectation will purchase again um other reviews are just five star without necessarily explaining anything else but you could see that they they said that this matches exactly what was presented so you don't want to present something on your mock-up and give the customer something else so let's quickly look into this picture you could see how they displayed theirs so you could choose to display yours differently if that's um what you want and within their planner you could see they have daily weekly month monthly planner like we had um like chat gpt had given us before okay and you could see ideas of what um they have in theirs 
something to mention is when you are researching you're not researching to copy people okay you're researching so you understand what works so you could create your own unique design another thing is you could see the sizes they're offering so they're offering a, um, a5 a4 and us letter size so these are sizes you need to um, watch out for in the sense that in a single package of your listings you need to put these sizes in one bundle okay and you could sell them that way for a higher price now we have an idea of a product to make next we're going into canva to start putting these designs together but before we do that if you're finding value in this video be sure to like subscribe and share it with your friends let's make this money together okay so once we get into canva we need to choose the size of the productivity planner we want to make if you remember in the previous step we saw a4 a5 and us size so for this tutorial we'll be choosing a4 size so it's important to mention that you could make your productivity planner using canva free but if you want to have access to any of their pro features i have a 30 day free link in the description below so you could check that out okay so two ways you could create this is you could come at the very top and click create design and put in the dimensions for a4 and start making the designs from scratch or you could choose existing template and modify from there so for this tutorial we'll be choosing an existing template okay so we come here and type in daily planner remember that for our planner for our productivity planner we have daily monthly weekly so i just want to start creating from a daily planner and once i do that i see what it's going to give me in terms of template it's also keen and important to mention that you're not permitted to use these templates the way they are you know i start selling them you have to make modifications to them before you could use them okay so he has loaded all the templates so let's look around and choose the one that we want i want something minimalistic that I can make modification a lot of modifications too so i like this i'll just click on this daily planner and from daily planner you could see that this is in 8.5 by 11 inches this is basically us size so but let's click on customize template we're going to change this to a4 and then we start modifying the template to what we want it to look like so this loads up so it's in us um, letter template so we'll just click resize and we're going to change this to a4 is 8.3 so we change this to 8.3 by 11.7 and um, let's just resize we don't want to make a copy let's start making some modifications so i uh, want to have this gone i don't want this here for the date i'm okay with it we could just move it a little bit up then for the subject i want this here and i want this gone okay so here i want to change it to this is daily so i could say let's start with sunday okay so um i don't want this to do list here so i'm going to remove this okay and i'm going to use the date so i could create something that i want so i'll make this here we'll make another one i'll call this water intake i'll call this mood tracker okay so for this I want the title here and I want this here. I'm going to change the title. So for the water intake, I'm going to put in, um, I'll go to the element and type in drop, water drop, okay? And then we'll choose the ones we want in the graphics. So let me just choose, um, in case you want to color it. So let's just choose the one that people could color okay okay so this might look not arranged so you could do this select this okay and then you could go into position and say tidy up and it, it puts everything together properly and they have 
you know different spacing so what i would do is i'm just going to go go ahead and complete this and then come back and show you the finished product okay so this is how the finished product looks like you can see i have added a bit of color changed the fonts to make it look like what i like so i've made for monday so once you create one for monday you could just duplicate the page and only change this to um different days of the week okay so i've had monday all the way down to wednesday to thursday all the way to sunday and then i've also created additional ones like scheduler planner um weekly planner to do list remember we have to do list in that whole bunch for the productivity planner and i've also gone ahead to create like a cover page for it as you could um see here so now that we have our product set the next thing we will do is to make sure that this is right we could just go to share and come to download and we want to make this pdf and if we have we want to make it for printing okay so pdf best for printing we choose this and we click download it's going to download it for us and we'll be using um this file for our listing so once you download the pdf go back and choose to download the png and you ask why do we want to download the png because we use it the png to make our mock-ups okay so i'll just click download and it would start downloading okay so once it's done downloading let's start making our mock-ups so let's go back to the home screen so we go back to the home screen we close this so we click create design so for mockups for Etsy, we have to use this size so you could decide to make this background anything you really you like really so let me just make my own background basically like a gray kind of background so i'll just choose color and make it just light gray. then we'll go to upload and we'll be uploading the file that we downloaded right okay so it's done uploading so let's start playing with this so we'll drop this as a picture we'll keep this here just to create then the daily we could pick up one of the daily and put it aside then we could pick up one of the schedules this is just an example okay and we'll start arranging it and sending some back so we say backward it's behind this so let's just send it back entirely okay so you could start playing around to create the mock-up so what i like doing is i'll click on the picture and i'll go to edit image and i'll use the drop effect it gives it this shadowy effect at the background okay so you see how it looks it looks different from just the plain background so it gives it that um highlighted background which is cool so i'll just go ahead and you know work on this put in a title and show you how the final product looks like for our mock-up okay so this is how our final mock-up looks like with the title and everything looking nice so we could put a bit of a description you need to go ahead to you know showcase what each um different sections in your planner are doing so this is what i have so once you have your mock-up everything set and showcasing what it's about the next thing you are going to do is to download the images because we want to use it for our listings on etsy so before we go into uploading our listings and pictures on etsy at the beginning of the video i promised a free template so you'll be receiving these templates we worked on today um, for free so use the link in the description box to access my freebies library and in addition you'll be receiving a discount coupon code which you could use to shop for any template of your choice on my etsy store so be sure to grab that offer while it's still available so to list your product on etsy you need to first open an etsy store and for a list to list your product it costs about 20 cents per listing so to save you that cost there'll be a list link in the description box where you could get 40 free listings to get you started so once you open your store and you come to the left your shop a manager you could see listings you click on that it's going to open up and at the very top by your right you could say add a listing so when you should click on that a blank new page opens up and this is where we're going to put all the pictures we downloaded and put in that file that you saved as a pdf okay so let's start 
quickly put in those pictures so let me just go ahead and put in the pictures okay so i've gone ahead to put in some of the pictures okay so you need to fill up all these pictures with what you have created all right so the next thing is a video okay so people tend to ignore this but you could clearly see that um Etsy says bring your product to life within you know five to fifteen seconds video it could help you drive more sales we want to have more sales so how do you do this you need to go back to canva and download your those planners you created download it as an mp4 and you could upload it here as a video it's going to be playing one after the other okay so here we could put in a title and say we could put in productivity planner and you remember you will now have hourly planner and so on so you could say hourly planner okay and so on so you're going to choose who made it you said you did and then what is this you say is a finished product when did you make it you could choose we just made it in 2023 then the category okay so the category it's mostly a template so you could choose check templates and it asks you what, what kind of templates so we choose templates in calendars and planners okay then you could choose a color if you want to and here you could say automatic renewal but this is important you need to choose that this is what a digital file so you go ahead and put in your description here so you put in your description make sure it's okay then you could go ahead and put in all your tags here it has to be it says optional but it's important that you put in every single tag then you could choose your price okay so for instance it's just a demo we could just choose five dollars then the quantity you could make it since it's a digital product i normally leave it at 9.99 okay so it doesn't then here is where you're going to upload that pdf that you downloaded so you click up here and select the file and upload the pdf or any format that you have your your file in and once you're done everything looks good then you click at the button here at the very bottom you click publish so there you have it if you're interested in other digital products you could start making and selling online today check out these two videos i'll be starting a new series soon on how to create digital products and 10 extra productivity using google sheets so i'm sure you don't want to miss out when the series starts so be sure to like subscribe to know when those videos go live Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.